Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. With our Shaykh's Himmah, how can we know ourselves? How can we clean ourselves? And what is the duty of a murid? Follow your Shaykh. Listen to his sohbats. Put it in your life. Live your life as a servant. Follow the authority. Be in Jamaat. That's a time you will know yourself. That is a time you will be able to clean yourself. And that is a time when you will know what is your duty. To be able to reach to that high station that Allah has created for us. That's what you're going to do. The Shaykh is a mirror. First you're going to see yourself, your ugliness. Then he's going to show himself. And if you're able to see the reflection in the mirror is not yourself but your Shaykh, then that's the time maybe we're going somewhere. Because the reflection of the Shaykh is not his reflection too. It is the reflection of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying there are certain men that when you see them, he's saying this through the mouth of the Prophet because every word that the Prophet is saying is coming from Allah. We're not making any separation now. Because Allah in the Holy Quran is saying he says nothing from his nafs. He says nothing from his nafs. So every word that is coming, yes, it is coming from Allah. Whether you're going to categorize it as wahi, as hadith kutsi, as hadith, as uh, something else. But we are Ahli Tariqat. We are saying that one is representing Allah. He doesn't retire. He doesn't take a break. He doesn't say, I'm only like today's imams. I'm only imam 9 to 5. They don't even go to Isha or Maghrib yet. They don't go. Only not, and after that, they take off all their imam clothes and they disappear into the kafir, unbelievers' oceans. <laughs> it is not. Our Prophet ﷺ, Sayyidina Awalil Ahirin, from the beginning to the end, he is always representing Allah and Allah is pleased with him. So, then, following him, inshallah, Rahman, we'll find safety. And that's the time that we'll be able to find our. Uh, Murat, yeah. the secret that Allah has created for us. Then we'll be able to find that if when we become a murid to a shaykh. And the shaykh, like what we're saying, is a reflection of Allah because Prophet is saying, There are certain men, when you look at them, they will remind you of Allah because they have disappeared into the oceans of the Prophet. And Prophet is in the oceans of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is simple. We're making it very understandable for everyone. We're not making tasawuf to be mystical. We're not making tasawuf to be uh, elitist. This is something that everyone can understand, everyone must accept. But whether you are going to accept or not, it's up to you now. And this is only the starting point. Because now, you have that guide in front of you. He disappeared into his oceans. Then, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying when we disappear into His oceans? What Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, my servant, He draws near to me when He does His obligations. He draws near to me. He becomes beloved to me when He does His obligations. He becomes even nearer to me when he does those that are not obligation, those extras. And he will come closer and closer to me until I will be his eyes, I will be his hands, I will be his feet, I will be his tongue, I will be his ears. If you disappear in that, what happens then? Not to say, like so many foolish ones, to say we become Allah. Hasha astaghfirullah. But what happens then that time? We become Rijalullah. 
we become men of Allah and we become those ones whose will is the will of Allah. We put Allah's will. We use our will to say, Ya Rabbi, you have given this free will to us that you have not given to the angels or the animals. I'm giving this irada, I'm giving this will back to you. I'm not using it. I'm using it, I'm giving it back to you. And that's the time then our will and Allah's will becomes one. And then Allah is saying, then that one is representing me. That one, when he walks, when he appears, you will be reminded of me. Because now, he becomes Rabbani, he becomes Lordly. Not just by name. Rabbani is not something that you're just going to call yourself. If you are sincere, if you are honest, you're going to say, really? Even if people are praising you, whoever is praising you, you're going to look at yourself and say, I don't deserve this. How I can be calling myself this? So, inshallah, Rahman, we take these words. If it's necessary to put into our lives, we put it into our lives. This is a reminder. This is uh, what is necessary for us to listen to right now. May Allah forgive us. May Allah bless our Grand Shaykh and our Shaykh. Inshallah, Rahman, we'll see you next time.